it was clear the whole night, the whole day that Rhode Island played this game on their terms. Was this just a, an example of defense winning championships and defense trumping good offense in a playoff situation? Yeah, Dan Hurley said yesterday he thought they reminded him of the Golden State Warriors. At the end of the day, Hassan Martin down low against the seven-footer who's going to be a first-round pick. That was huge because he ended up fouling out. Hassan is just a tougher. He's a man. He is poses his will on people. And then when you consider, we talked last night what the Rams had to do to win, and I said EC or Jared Terrell had to get off, and it was Jeff Dowen. Someone had to be in the 20s, and it was Dowen and – the Rams have lost some games this year on free throw shooting, and up until the last minute, I think they had lost one or missed one the entire day. They finished at 90%. So the Rams uh, doing it with defense and free throw shooting, and it was interesting seeing it in person. What did it look like on TV, Mark, to you? It looked like they dominated the whole way. It looked like they were in control the whole way. Uh, both teams a little skittish early, but URI certainly wasn't scared. They were aggressive. Right. They were ready to play. Um, and eventually they took control of the game and then just cruised. I'm curious, so Lamar Odom was in attendance. You spoke to him after the game. What was he like? What was his demeanor like? And how did the team react to him being there? Well, you know, any college kid thinks it's great to see Lamar Odom because they saw him play, you know, with Kobe Bryant, the Lakers for all those years and the Clippers. So they think it's great that he went out of his way to come back and support the school he went to. At the end of the day, Lamar was only in Kingston for one year. But when he was asked about it, he said, hey, it was the greatest year of my life. It was college. And um, I saw him probably take 100 selfies with URI fans in the stands, so he was as nice as can be. And, you know, he means so much to the area. I remember going to his basketball camp when I was, like, in seventh grade, and I thought it was the coolest thing. And he's had his trials and tribulations elsewhere, but to come back and support his team, Jim Herrick, the former Rams coach, was there too. So Rhodey Nation is strong right now behind this team. Yanni Caracas live in Sacramento with the Rhodey Rams after a huge NCAA tournament win. Yanni, thanks.